Hello everyone. So today we are going to study fluid deformations. So deformation of fluid elements is very important because it helps us relate the nature of the flow field and the stresses generated in the flow field. So first things first, let's first look at linear deformation. Let's say we have a two dimensional coordinate system and we have square element. Now this element can deform into something which elongates like this. The condition under which it will deform is when the velocity at this phase and the velocity at this phase are different. So if u2 is larger than u1 then this length will increase. In other case if del u del x that is if x increases u increases then the length will increase okay so with this logical viewpoint we will try to then do the appropriate mathematics and derive the expression so we let the velocity at a b x and we say that the point B is located at a distance of delta x from A. We let A be located at a distance x from the origin. So B is located at so the x coordinate of A. So OA is x. Similarly, OB is x plus delta x. So the velocity at A is u and the velocity at B is u at x plus delta x. Now if we have a point at x0 and it is acted by a velocity u, after a time t the location of the particle will be x0 plus ut, u delta t. So this is the location of particle after t after a time delta t okay so because of this flow then if the velocity at a is u then a prime will be located at x plus u delta t similarly ob prime will be located at x plus delta x plus u at x plus delta x multiplied by delta t. So we can use a Taylor series expansion about u equal to x. So Taylor series expansion yields u at x plus delta x is equal to u at x plus del u del x delta x this multiplied by delta t. So initial length L1 is equal to OB minus OA which is equal to X plus delta X minus X equal to delta X because we have X plus delta X minus X. Similarly L2 will be equal to X plus delta X plus U delta T plus del U del X delta X delta t. So I have just expanded this plus this. So this is OB prime minus OA prime which is x plus u delta t. Okay. So essentially this length is this which is equal to u delta t x plus u delta t and similarly this length will be x plus delta x 
plus u at x plus delta x multiplied by delta t. So the difference in the two coordinates gives us the length. So the length is then equal to so x and u delta t get cancelled. So we have delta x plus del u del x delta x delta t. So now we want to find out the rate of change of length per initial length in time. Okay. So it's the rate of change of relative relative rate of change of length. So we have L two minus L one will be then delta x plus del u del x delta x delta t. This is the final length minus the initial length which is delta x. So this cancels. This is equal to del u del x delta x delta t. Therefore, delta L by delta t, delta L is this term and delta t we have divided is equal to del u by del x delta x and similarly 1 by delta x delta L by delta t is equal to del u by del x. So, if we take a limit delta t tends to 0 we have dl dt 1 by delta x equal to del u by del x. So, essentially this is the rate of change of length in x direction is equal to del u by del x. So, we have if del u by del x is 0 then only a velocity u acts at both the faces and the segment which initially has a length delta x will simply translate in the x direction the length will not change so the length remains constant however if there is a velocity differential in the x direction so that the velocity in the x direction varies in the x direction so a velocity here is u but velocity here is u plus del u del x delta x this means that one of the faces will travel faster than the other so if the velocity here is u and the velocity here is u plus del u del x delta x if del u del x is positive then the length increases So this is at time t, at the other time this location will move here but this location will move further. So this yields a, a larger length. So this is only u delta t but this is some larger velocity u at x plus delta x multiplied by delta t. Conversely if del u del x is negative it means that as x increases the u velocity reduces. So, if here the velocity is u and here the velocity is u at x plus delta x and if del u del x is negative it means that if this particle moves here then this particle will move maybe here the length has decreased. Okay. So, rate of change of length in x direction was found out to be del u del x. Rate of change of length in the y direction is del v del y and rate of change of length in the z direction is del w del z. Okay. It's very easy to prove. So for the y direction we have an initial length delta y. We can take a cube if you like. So these are the x and y directions. So if the velocity here is v, then the velocity here will be v at y plus delta y. Okay. So if del v del y is positive, then this line segment will elongate. So I leave this as an exercise for you. It's a very simple proof and it follows the same procedure as we have shown. So one has to write down the y coordinates and take a difference to find out the new length 
and so on. The new length will be found out in terms of v at y plus delta y multiplied by delta t. Okay.